Hi, I'd like to show you this uh, scratch built prop uh, that I built. I'm extremely proud of it. This is the prototype. I will be making at least another two of these. Um, they might be slightly different to this prototype and they will be going up on eBay for those uh, of you who are interested in Star Trek and different props and things. This is uh, pretty unique. It is based on a prop that Paramount had made for one of the Voyager episodes. It's uh, supposed to be a futuristic tricorder. Um, so this is my interpretation of it. Now as I said this is a uh, prototype so all the black tape is covering up holes and things that um, on the finished version you won't see any of this. However there will be a switch or two up here and these holes may or may not exist. Uh, this hole here is used to select a different program on the uh, microprocessor and this one um, is a variable control that adjusts the speed of the polling of the LEDs. So it's quite small and compact and this is what it looks like when it's opened. Now at the moment I've got it programmed to do the demo so all the different possible patterns are being displayed. What you can do is select a specific pattern and it will memorize that and stay on it. There's uh, 11 different patterns and the 12th program is the demo program. So for instance that one there was quite nice for a Star Trek scanner. You might want to just select one and leave it on and then feel like a change a bit later so you can uh, change it. That's the Cylon. <laughs> now these uh, LEDs in here are very bright. I'll show you that by uh, pointing them at the camera. You can see that there. Scanning a bit of foam. And um, this is all static uh, because this is so thin I'm not going to be able to get any electronics here. But these are static at the moment and what I'll do on these is cut holes out and they will have lights, LEDs that uh, different coloured, maybe red and green that flash. And behind the panel here um, I can put whatever graphics I like. This graphic is literally just stuck on but I'll have a graphics behind the glass and um, d different areas on the graphics will have flashing LEDs as well. And you can call me a geek or a nerd if you like but uh, I'm particularly proud of the results I've got here. I've taken a travelling alarm clock and turning it into a Star Trek tricorder. moment this prototype has a uh, momentary switch here where when you press it it triggers off the scan it take your finger off and it stops I might actually have a switch where you press it and it's permanently on press it again and it's permanently off um, now the reason for that is this is quite a handy little 
uh, gimmick, you can fold it back like that. You can be sitting on your desk scanning away and this screen would have LEDs on it and these LEDs would be flashing. You can see how bright they are, they just blank out the screen when it's pointed at the camera. Extremely bright LEDs. Um, another feature, as I mentioned earlier, is a variable control through here. So if I show you that, um, we'll get it polling. And if I insert a screwdriver here, I can slow the pole right down. And this isn't in slow motion, by the way. You can see my finger. And I can speed it right up. That's maximum. And that's as slow as it will go. But um, I'm going to find a happy medium in between somewhere. That's quite a good scan rate. It also has a memory, so um, as an example now I'm going to change the pattern. We'll put it onto a permanent pattern. There we are, we'll leave it like that. So it won't change from that now, it'll just keep doing it. And uh, if you turn it off, <clears throat> go and make a cup of tea, come back, and it will scan exactly the same. And it won't change from that now um, unless you change it by actually um, putting the screwdriver in and pushing the button that's inside again. So there it is. This is the prototype. I keep saying that uh, just to make sure. This up here, um, I was going to blank out, so it's actually like this at the back, you can't see it. But uh, it actually turned out I quite like this scanning like this. Um, it's the lower part of the LED showing through. So thanks for watching.